into your semester we apologize for taking a break this week things got a little bit crazy but we're back on track and we hope that you guys are rested and ready for summer So this week we want to talk about how to prepare for Pentecost because it shouldn't be something that is just kind of glazed over. It's something that we should, you know, take seriously. It's the coming of the Holy Spirit. So we want to welcome the Holy Spirit into our lives. There's a lot of people that are starting novenas and that's one of the ways that you can actually start getting into the celebration of Pentecost. It was Bishop Baring was saying that you know, the Holy Spirit is, is like the wind, and the wind blows where it wants, and you cannot control the wind, but you can have that presence felt. And so in the same way, you can't control the Holy Spirit. You can't, you know, do this little checklist, and bam, the Holy Spirit's going to be, you know, present. We are baptized, and we receive the Holy Spirit, and then that is strengthened in our confirmation. But you, you can't command the Holy Spirit. But we can ask to be able to see him more clearly when he's working in our lives. So going back to confirmation, that's another way that you can prepare is, is go look for your baptism and your confirmation date. And if you don't have, if you haven't had confirmation yet, that's perfectly fine. Those two dates are important because those are days that we entered into the church. Those are days that we entered into communion with Jesus. And so those are important to think about, to reflect on, and, and to celebrate. You can also re-familiarize yourself with the gifts of the Holy Spirit and ask for those gifts to be strengthened within you. Uh, those are gifts and graces that the Lord gives us to get through the everyday life that we live. So ask for those things because He gives them to us, but at the same time, He wants us to participate in our own salvation. And it's not just God does all the work and we just kind of ride the wave. That's not what it's meant to be. So, you know, participate in prayer, participate in, in asking, because that's what, you know, he wants us to trust him. He wants us to lean on him. So don't be afraid to ask. You can also go through an examination of conscience guided by the Holy Spirit. Just sit down in your room in a quiet place, find a quiet space, even if it's your closet and sit there and, and quiet your heart, quiet your mind, and just ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and to guide your thoughts as you examine your conscience, as you examine your soul. Help renew the face of the earth. And what I mean by that is, you know, participate and allow the Holy Spirit to really work through you. There's times where we're going about our daily life and somebody pops into our mind, more than likely they pop into your mind because they need prayer. And that's what I was always told, is that whenever, you know, somebody just pops into your head, it's because it's God asking you to pray for that person. The more you do it, the more you realize the voice of the Holy Spirit, and you'll, you'll start to differentiate which thoughts are yours and which are not, which which thoughts are God's. And it's really cool when, when you get to start differentiating that because it's almost like uh, the Force in Star Wars. To me, that's always a cool way to picture is, you know, we are all united through this one spirit. And we find that in the Gospels. And we are many people, but we are of the same spirit. And so we are united. So take part in that unity and, you know, take advantage of, of those graces that, that are presented to us. And, you know, spend some time thanking the Trinity, thanking you know, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Reflect on how those three persons of the Trinity have influenced your life, have uh, touched your heart in different ways, and you really just have a new appreciation for what they what they are doing for you in your life. This is this is a time of, of reformation. This is a time of you know being molded. So why not let it you know form your faith and teach you how to live out your faith in new ways. So I invite you guys to, you know, take this seriously and take it to heart and, you know, be bold about it. Don't, don't be afraid. The daily reading today was about not being afraid and, and going out and preaching. And even though you 
you feel like you know everybody's against you and, and you're completely out of your element um, God is always saying I have people there I have my people there and so never be afraid to to be bold with your faith and so I definitely invite you to be bold with the Holy Spirit and share what it is that the Holy Spirit is, is sharing within you uh, share it with other people because it's a gift that is definitely worth giving Thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for our last video next week on Pentecost. Yeah, we'll be praying the novena along with you and praying for you. And we're very excited to see you again next week and hopefully see you here at Mass as we are opening up the doors and able to finally have Mass together as a community with the social distancing rules. Novena starts today. Today is Friday. Mm -hmm. We're recording. Even if you start late, that's okay. Better late than never. Amen. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.